Do yeah, that now. and it gets better and better all the time. Yeah, and let's check back in with our chief meteorologist Scott Dorval now for a look at that on your side forecast. It took an entire week, Scott, for us to just get above freezing. Yeah, yeah it certainly did. The first time this year, yesterday we hit 36 degrees. Today, we're going to do that again. Temperatures are already on the rise at Boise at 25. I've got fog here, but in some places there's fog. Most of the fog been reported in Caldwell, but the visibilities are coming up now. It's less than a quarter mile at times, now up to three quarters of a mile. So that really doesn't hamper your driving much at all. Just kind of makes it look gray outside. Breeze now picking up eight miles an hour out of the southeast. Temperatures around the region, 34 in McCall. That's one of our warmer locations at the higher elevation. Elevations. It's only 15 in Ontario. The inversion is still in place, especially Boise westward. But eventually, this cold air will erode as breezes come in from the southeast, warming this up. So, precipitation will head towards McCall. Probably will start out as rain, then turn over to snow as colder weather begins to approach. And a good deal of snow will likely end up accumulating in Idaho's central mountains as well. You see that precipitation in eastern Oregon. It is tracking in, and winter weather advisories are in place. West central and Boise mountains, east central mountains as well, except around Fairfield. The magic Valley, watch out for snow tomorrow. Could be uh, pretty slick going in the morning for the commute and winter storm watch on down to the south uh, in northern uh, Nevada and in Utah. Here's our precipitation tracking in from southwest to northeast, and you see it beginning to appear now in eastern portions of Oregon. So even in the western valley, as the day progresses, a chance of some rain showers coming in. Mixed rain and snow, some freezing rain is possible in the western valley before things begin to kind of get scoured out. The cold air will warm things up later on, but that could be the case in the morning here. Uh, later in the morning, middle part of the day, It'll take a while for it to get into the Treasure Valley as the breeze comes in, but something to watch for later today, a chance for precipitation coming in. The bottom line is I expect with the mild weather here in place, we've got cold weather on the other side of the jet stream. We'll, we'll trend towards rain showers coming in, and then the cold front goes through. It will turn over to snow, and energy behind this right in here could keep the snow going for a little while. And that means we could get white again during the day tomorrow. So you look at it right here, all this blue in the mountains as we head towards the 8 o'clock tonight. Heavy snow falling in those higher elevations. Then a cold front comes through as we head towards 2 o'clock in the morning. There's snow flying in the Treasure Valley. How much snow could fall? Look at uh, as you head towards the higher elevations in the Long Valley, 4 to 6 inches, not out of the question by midday tomorrow. And in the Treasure Valley tomorrow, I'm thinking around an inch. Some places could get a little more. It only takes a half inch to an inch to cause issues, so we may have issues on the roadways on Thursday morning. Bogus Basin could see half a foot of snow, while Brundage Mountain could see a foot of snow out of this. 45 in Mountain Home today, 43 in Boise, only 35 in Ontario and Weezer. Breezy conditions, a lot of melting going on today. Otherwise cloudy with a chance for some showers later on in the day. In the mountains, one to four inches of snow by evening, but there could be a start of rain, especially around Council and Cambridge. Some of those lower elevations may have mixed precipitation. Some freezing rain is not out of the question as well. 40 to 47 in the Magic Valley as the clouds increase. Winds out of the east at 10 to 25 miles an hour. Our weekend is actually Saturday, Sunday. I'll change those colors there for you. 42 for the high tomorrow. Uh, today, I should say, and then tomorrow only 34. That's when the precipitation is coming back in. Looks like we'll continue to see that cold weather return for the weekend. Lows in the teens and single digits, highs in the 20s. And that will depend if we get enough snow on the ground again, uh, if we don't wash away this snow, and uh, if, we, if we have bare ground this weekend, the morning lows aren't as cold. But you keep snow on the ground and it just draws that cold air right in. And so if we have a good snow cover again over the weekend, we're down into the single digits again. My, my right arm is starting to hurt already from the uh, snow shoveling that I know oh, is going to be in my future. Because and you'll want to shovel it because it'll get so cold after. Just it's going like to turn to ice. ice. It'll, it'll sit there. Ooh, so yeah, keep that in mind. And we should point out, Gemma is uh, working on a few things that will help you feed that picky eater at home. So ah. that's coming up next. Thanks so much, Scott. Yeah. And also coming up next,